Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Joe Usually back with another video today. We'll be playing some Mary support because she actually got a buff in this latest patch. Well, essentially, I think she's gonna feel a lot better to play, especially in the early game. Because my biggest kind of complaint about Mary support was so the early game she didn't feel that great. Well, like she feel like she's more like, she's a shield bot, and that's totally fine. But it's her early laning phase that what bugged me the most. Where other support feel like they could do a lot more. Maybe it feels fine as a scaling support, but with so many like games I have where people snowball and we just have games end in like 20 minutes. You definitely want a support that could do a little bit more in the early game, at least with these shorter average queues, um, match times and all that stuff. So we'll be playing some Mary support, trying to see how she feels with the latest buffs. Let me see, take a quick look. Oh, is this a team? I guess it's a team because they're all matching names. So we shall see how this goes 100%. Um, definitely want to go with Krim. I'm going to go Silence too. Because Silence is going to be very good against the counters, the quirks. Even Norbash too, if I can interrupt his ult. But if he's, he's going to probably build true silver. So I can't really silence a uh, CC immunity shield. It's the only thing. So we'll definitely see how this goes. Because the MR, the MR is definitely inflated. The all 5 stack. And so most of us on this team might think it's solid kill. So we'll definitely see who kind of can come up on top. Because... We should ideally be on the higher MM. We should definitely, um, yeah, we have to see how this goes for sure. If anything, they're gonna be pretty coordinated with the gang, so that's something we have to be um, mindful of. Like trying to bully the anyone we can try to do, essentially. Yeah, see how we keep dragging the wave? So let's put us in a pretty good spot. We gotta have to shrink, try to shrimp the wave just a little bit. Do that and back off. Don't need to do a super long trade. So not much healing got nerfed, so we, we can definitely see how this also plays out too. Um, let's go E first. Oh, second me. No! Uh, I think I missed it. Oh, nice try. I got the blink out of him, that's actually very good. Because if we can bully the knob badge, then he's not gonna be able to sustain the Modok. Ideally we should hit that Modok, but it's just really easy to hit the Nobash right now. And looks look he's out of mana already, so definitely nerfs are coming in right there. That should be a good um support and actually ward a bit better, so let's place one right here. We can actually freeze it right here. We just need to try to get the gold buff. Okay, we see Gorks on that side. This should be really annoying. Just try to Pokemon if I can. I'm not. Oh no! I steal the kill! <laughs> my bad. That that should have been a kill to my Wimpage Oh Mother, but you surely kind of last hit steal it, so that's definitely my bad right there, ladies and gents. Very, very my bad. So I hope my team forgives me for sure. Oh, I think. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, interesting reactions for sure. Definitely, I, like it. I should not be cute right there. I just, I kind of want to. Okay, see him back there already. Oh, he's walking a little bit weird. Trying to walk up here, so we're just gonna bully him right here. Ooh, almost got him. They, not by chilling, it's definitely coming in clutch right there. Uh oh. Let's try to come in, but I think we we can kind of outspace this him. Yeah, we can outspace him kind of hard. 
Yeah, very unfortunate I took that kill. That was definitely my bad. Because if there's one more, you don't want to um, get too many kills to his support because uh, it's not that the extra gold won't hurt necessarily. It's just the fact that um, trying to, there's just the other a lot all the other worlds kind of scale better with gold than support at the end of the day. So it's just like that's just like 200, 300 gold that could have gone to my Modoc instead. So I just that's why I'm kind of like uh, kind of. Disappoint myself for taking that. That's definitely not a very nice support thing to do. So definitely both of them back. So we can let the ADC decide if they want to push or freeze. I'm gonna max E because I think that's the best if it was the max. On B you could probably do it, but the fact that I can shoot both me and the Moda I think is um solid. Mm, the bottom is not bad. Just missed. Okay, he's right there. I just want to make sure not bad isn't rotating right now, because that's something I sh I could match if he's trying to rotate to that. I have Q in a sec. I oh, looks like backing. Oh, wait, he just walked up. Will? Oh, he's just walking real now. I thought he's got, he kept like jigging going back and forth, so it's kind of hard to predict how he's trying to walk. Oh. Well, I think I'm fine. Honestly. Yep, I'm totally. F oh, they're trying to do faint suits right now. Huh. So definitely they try to get by for the. We just need the rampage to go over it, so maybe I need to actually. Hmm, a little awkward because Counts may have ult kind of thing, so it's a little hard to fight. We just gotta play around how a jungler wants to play. I'm gonna play the ward down anyways here in a sec. Just so we can see when they're definitely trying to do it. I'm gonna take the left of above because I think Gideon can get the one on the right. Let's grab this. Okay, he's walking that way, so. Hmm. Yeah, they're trying to do it, but, um... Okay, let's try to help out, man. Oh, he, he hasn't hit 6 yet. That's the only issue. That's why they want to do it, because they haven't hit 6 yet. That's the big thing. Um, We may have be better players individually, but they have the coordination to do stuff like that. It's the only thing. So, we need to try to play around the Gideon, I think. Hmm... I'm trying to save my shields for the... Nice. Well, I should punish that really good. Yeah, we can do this now. That was a very good punish by the team. Because we saw they were hovering for it. Decided to actually try to do it. But we were all kind of... Good to kind of... Good posture to... Um, um, punish them right there. So very nice play by the team. Let's go. Oh, he's backing. So I shall back as well. Because I think they want to do it just because they saw that um, when page is 5 and their jungler was 6. But I think we, we, we still kind of beat them just because trying to do a early feint just like that is a little greedy. Um, especially if there hasn't been any picks to kind of do that. So we were all up and we were all just able, able to punish them really well right there. Nice try, nice try. Oh, 1 HP. Wow, that's so unfortunate. So 57 to... Try to give our AC a movement speed so maybe we can catch this. Yep, he's able to catch this. Nice and good. Trying to see what minions I can last hit to help. Nice, I do have my ult now. Oh, maybe I should have hit that for him. But I have my ultimate, so now I should be trying to keep a close eye on the mini map because I can definitely turn around any bad engagements. So maybe. I'll play for... I, I can honestly play for anyone. It seems kind of even-ish. But I should maybe try to save for my murder. It just really depends how they're playing. Okay, not bad just missing. I kind of want to get ward in that one spot right there. Once... Okay, so he's right there. 
the one right there. Hmm. Okay, so I might try to do all prime if they are on it. Oh. They can go on it. I can ult them if they go on it. They have to. Okay, now I go. Nice. Because I, I was like, are they actually trying to do it? Because I was trying to figure out if they were. Nice. They got that kill. Let's see if we can give. Oh, then quite got the um limit speed. Let's go back to left. So because I try to push her left hard, no reason for me to really stay much longer since we got what we need. So that's the one thing you have to be mindful of when you do melee support is when you ult someone, that then they one they know you don't have the ult, so you can't turn them on a two v two fight. Another thing is you leave your AC to be alone in one v two. So because of that, um. My mother had to play back a bit. We may lose some CS for that, but the fact that I turned them on the fight and got my team the first old prime, I think it's definitely worse. Oh, that's definitely a weird interaction, but we definitely got the kill even with the jungler here, so let's go. And place a ward at this entrance just in case he's trying to come back around. But you saw right there, I was trying to buy block for the motor by giving him the motor's face, so it's hard to him to hit my ADC. I the only thing is I gotta make sure I'm shielding him a bit. Oh yeah, that's a good call. I was like, let's maybe go for gold buff, but he saw the counts rotation though, so that's very smart. Yeah, that was actually very smart. So we definitely want to try to get on this ASAP, but I think they may get that before us. Just because we have to back and they're back to the lane already. So 98 to... Oh yeah, so despite not us getting all the gold buffs, he's not that far behind. So that's actually very good. Oh yeah, we're definitely chilling. That's actually a really good pick too against the Nobash, getting that anti fly early. Nice, nice. I should maybe actually give maybe Tainted Guards second, just so I can also anti blight plus it makes me a bit tankier. So we have ultimate, so now we want to keep looking at the map again. I don't need to ult that because it looked like they're kind of shilling. Yep, they're all shilling, let's go. You know, I can probably roam, and if they try to jump on my AC, I can ult back to them. So, let's see. I'm gonna ult them because it seems like they're going hard. So we can maybe get the T1 right here because we definitely got some good picks right there. They had to back off. Yeah, we're chilling. Let's see if we can get our team to maybe attack left. If they want to do that because we can collapse on them. Oh wow, the Narbash is shunk. Let's go. Yeah, they are backing off, so we can just go on this, honestly. Making sure she the went pace so it takes less damage. Also, he does a little bit more damage with his autos. Let's go. We're popping off as a team, ladies and gents. So I'm not sure if that's worth it, but we can definitely... We can definitely maybe knock down the T1, potentially. He has all, so we can dive. Okay, they're backing off, so we're getting the T1 on the left. That's very good, very good. Enemy, enemy nice. Hmm, I think they're pushing the wave in, so I'll stay with my mud dog just so we can get this. Oh wow, it looks like they might actually um gank us left. Yeah, we need to be careful. Yeah, see how they're walking up? Yeah, the Glux was always looking, that's why I was like... 
Wow, that's just so much CC right there. That's so unfortunate. But we're getting the T2 push on the right. That's very good. Hmm. I don't know where he's at. Oh, he was right in that spot. I was trying to stop his back. I just don't want to face check him when they can just kind of CC me. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Hmm. I guess I can go. Are they chasing her? Is the question. Okay, they're chasing her, so let's actually jump on this. Yeah, we definitely save a bacon right there. Our shields are definitely putting the work. So let's see if we can we can honestly hold the wave. I'm not afraid of the north um rampage. So let's actually kind of bully him, if anything. Oh no! I think that Oh! You got it! Go! Beep boost. Let's go. Movie support doing movie support things. We love to see it, ladies and gents. All right, so I kind of want to get more premium. Yeah, I kind of want to build this out because it's honestly really good if you have max stacks. So we shall definitely do that. Get silence so we can silence some pesky um assassins. So let's see. Yeah, he didn't even wow. So he didn't even went for the what do you call Tusha bracelet. So I can actually interrupt the Nod Badge ultimates. So I can interrupt his. I can interrupt Callus. So I got some really good targets right now. Hundred percent. So it looks like they're posturing for that. Yeah. So Grox is right there. So I'm gonna go to left lane. Maybe if we can see if we can mug the dual lane since we have the Gideon hovering. Let's try to get some deep wars. So let's put one on the red camp so we can see when they enter from this side. Because I have ultimate in 10 seconds, so I'm kind of trying to like keep an eye on the mini map and try to like. Uh, like because I don't have to stick with my ADC because I can always ult back to him if they jump on him. I'm just trying to be like annoying because I have global presence with my ultimate. They all think they. I don't think I need to. Oh shoot! Okay. Oh, so they used the. Okay, so Grux used his ultimate on me on the support, so he does not have that for faint tooth. By the way, so that's actually not a bad trade because I didn't commit a blink or anything. I can just alt and immediately if they go for faint tooth. It's a thing. So Grux uses his alt, I die, but I, he has no alt. I have an alt that can. I just go back in for faint tooth. So it's it's actually not. Not that bad of a trade at all. If anything, it's a good trade because we got the jungler's ultimate out of the way. So I can definitely ult. Oh. Looks like that kind of game poem right there. Hmm. We're just kind of knowing the rampage and following the Shinbi. Hmm. I think we're just going faint shoes. Is what I kind of want to do right now. Okay, someone is right. Oh, yeah, he's called out. Yeah, he was called out. I thought there was someone behind him, but he just he was just called out right there. So let's make sure there's no wolves on the faintest pit. Yep, so we should be able to 
Um, do this, no problem. Nice. There's gonna be a third pain to it, ladies and gents. So we're definitely doing really, really good right now. I have the back right um, first, then I'll join my team on Fane 2s. Because we oh no, Prime, because that's definitely a very good call to do, actually. So make sure this Prime Pit has no walls on this, so we... Sh yeah, see how he's walking up. Oh no. Alt, um, silence him, so he doesn't knock this up. And yep, that should be... Let's go. So... Okay, Mary is... Okay, so she's gonna catch that. Let's go... Yeah, no, we can attack mid. I think White's sort of pushing by itself. So I think, yeah, that's a good call. Allied tower under attack. Allied towers destroyed. I think the Shimmy can catch up. I just want to prioritize. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can see if I can make stop him from backing. Just, okay, never mind. They're kind of shielding without me. Hmm. We gotta be careful because the team is kind of online, but I think we can 2v3. We just need to grab this tower and then maybe look to back off. Oh? Oh! Let's go! That's hype. Let's... Nice shot, nice shot. Oh yeah, I can... we can actually keep pushing. I took the shot for him. I don't have the silence, so I can't stop the countless ult. Hmm. I'm keeping the eye out, but I'm kind of staying with my Modoc right now. Oh, they're popping off. Let's go. We're gonna get through all three inhibitors. Very nice job by the team pushing these in. So I think we're partial to end. Definitely, if we get one, two pitch, we can definitely do it. Oh, my pace going hard. I'm just gonna all for the heck of it. Yeah, get the knock up. Nice. Alright, no minions, so we gotta be a little careful and back off. No, my page! Alright, good, nice, nice. So next wave, I think we can end because they don't have the wave clear, and we still have five people. Oh, and they just got busted down. Oh, I think next one we had to wait. Yeah, that code definitely does hurt without any minions. Oh no! All right, we have to get this in ASAP. Come on, there we go. Nice, GG guys. Maybe we'll play by our team. Because obviously we we saw the enemy team. They definitely look like they were 5 stack 100% because they all have the matching little kind of team name in front. But like I said, this is what I mean by when you 5 stack especially, your party MMR gets really inflated so much. To the point that, let's say, I guess the best way for me to describe it is, let's say, um, if you talk about League of Legends terms, um, let's say the five stack were all gold players and they all queue up together and then since the party MMR gets inflated so much the matchmaking will pair all those gold players with platinum players right so even though my team was all kind of solo queue I think for the most part I think in terms of individually I think we were, we were individually higher MMR than these players the only advantage they had was just they were on comms I think right so 
that's kind of what the what I mean by probably M1 inflation, and that's why I was kind of like it could really go either way. It really depends on how well the comms and teamwork is. They definitely has good comms because we saw them trying to do the early feint tours, but my team did a really good job. And I'm not falling for the bait, waiting for them to actually start it, and then we all just collapsed on them because they didn't have any picks and um, feint tours early. Um, without any picks, definitely puts him in the awkward spot. So we were able to just kind of clean up. So that was a very good play that kind of set uh, us to kind of snowball after that. So really well played by the team right there, 100%. But in terms of how Melio felt, so I, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't, I don't really play Melio support that much. I play mostly Decker support, if anything, Decker, Victor, Narbash, I can't, and Steel. Like, I really like all those supports, just not Melio, just because I tried playing Melio. Um, before she was buffed and she never felt great, right? So I never bothered to put too many games to her just because I feel like even if I have really good map awareness, keep tra keep track of good um, where the enemy jungler is at, make really good ultimates, it's just the fact her early laning phase doesn't feel the greatest. I think Muriel, I think Muriel's a good design support. I think she was a hero that I think she in a, in a competitive setting, I think she might be doing a lot better because I think Mary is someone that works much, much better with better team coordination because you saw how my best ultimates were the ones where I know there was a fight that was happening or if, or rather, for example, there was a mini prime fight I saw that was happening and I knew that if I can help my team clean up and get the first main prime that would be huge and that is something that Mario support can do that no other supports can do it that is just be anywhere on the mini map um as long as you have teammates on in that area right so it's just like in the competitive setting where you can coordinate um fame to the old primes much better I can be like, hey, I'm on the split push, you guys can do mini prime, and if I were to happen, my lane is pushing, I can just ult back and be a 5v5 kind of thing, right? That's something that's something that requires coordination, but in solo queue environments, you don't necessarily have that coordination unless you're playing with very, very good players across the board. And most of the time, MMR is kind of wacky be just because um we just don't have a large player base. So you can Sometimes I get a lobby for really good players, but other times it sometimes feels like there's only two or three really good players and the rest are kind of like, okay, right? So that, that's kind of what I'm trying to get at. We just have only a small player base. Once we have a very large player base, like the one that Overwatch or League of Legends has, then this shouldn't really be that much of an issue in terms of skill range and MMR placement. But with a smaller player base, it's there's only so much that MMR can do, right? That's what I'm trying to get at. So I feel like for now, buffing her shields feels really good because, um, because if you can't take advantage, it's like I said, it's really hard to take advantage of her true potential in the solo queue environment. So when you can't do that, the rest of the kids doesn't feel great, right? Because Mirror is definitely, like I say, a scaling support. So mid to late game, your shields are pretty good, but it's just her early game shielding feels terrible. Right, and since games don't want really to go that long most of the time, I think buffing her like base shield definitely really helps because I kind of know I kind of noticed my shields were definitely doing a bit more um shielding for the most part, so it felt better when I actually shield my allies and able to take um a bit more like shield um a bit more like free damage I guess before they get to the health bar is what I'm trying to say. Cause I guess surprisingly her uh, clarity is the one that's the most no noticeable change because I guess apparently there's some bug where she, it wasn't getting any scaling or bonuses from shield power so clarity was a ability that wasn't even working properly and now they went back and fixed it and they increased the base and scaling just a little bit so now clarity feels like a very solid single target shield her E feels a little a bit better as a group AoE shield and yeah her Q is also feels nice it just these are all small different changes that makes Maria's kid feel really good right now, in my opinion. So it's I definitely need to test more, see, play more games with her, play more games against and with her to see how she is, um, where she's at in the meta. But I think for I think it's safe thing to say right now she feels great, and I think she's gonna be a safe pickup for those who want to pick up um, Maria because she's honestly a really fun support. So.
So actually, before I head off, I'm just gonna do a really quick um build on. I like to go on Mario. I won't go as much into detail as I normally do with Eric here, just because I don't play Mario support that much, so I don't really know what's the most optimal build path. But I know some really good items that work on her, and this is kind of like the way I would build Mario for right now, because I just really this is kind of like just my preference, right? So you guys can definitely um test this build out and let me know what you guys think. But essentially, quest is gonna be. Um, the console quest, and I like to go with Silent Tomb. Silent Tomb, I don't know how to say it, but I like to go this quest on Mirror just because the one thing Mirror lacks in support is it's kind of like a, I guess, a CC ability. So, like Decker, Victor, Steel, Nobat. So, you all have like different CC knocked up kind of abilities. So, this is kind of like this could be that kind of CC ability on Mirror in the form of a silence because in the game I just played, for example, it's very good against the countless because. You can silence her as she kills onto your AC and all of a sudden she can use a whole combo on the AC and she's a sitting duck for one and a half seconds for her for your team to kind of focus her and, and blow her, her up before she kind of kills back, right? So that's kind of like I'm just really like to go mirror so she had even more utility in her kit. And the one item that I always go, especially on Mario, is Wake Room. I think Wake Room is just a very, very good item. I like to build the the stacking component of it first, let it kind of stack up to 20 times and then finish this out uh, at 20 stacks because this one gives you the heal shield power, they give you base mana reach, it gives you all the stats you want on Mario. And the fact that you can, um, when you nearby allies, you grant them physical power and life to per stat makes it very, very good for your ADC too, especially. So, just a very good item on Mario that I think is like, definitely a must pick, I can say that for sure. So the first item I like to kind of fully build out is Marshall, just because I feel like this is just a really good item that synergizes well with Mario. Just the fact that I give my allies additional attack speed and deal magical damage on hit, because Mary passive does give bonus magical damage on hit while the shield is. So this kind of amplifies that a bit more. So their always can hit a bit more, especially the, your ADC. So the item as well, I kind of do my little preference for how I like to build Mary. I like to build Mary more on the tankier side because I feel like Mary is a support that aim, a good Amy team will actually focus first because she's the one that's going to really keep her team alive. So the sooner you can kind of pick off Mary in the fight, the less shields that um, the Amy team has to worry about burning through because you can pocket someone really well as Mary. So you want to eliminate her first so there's no pocket for like an ADC for example that can really keep them alive a lot longer. So I like to build Mario on the tanky side because of that. And what I like to go is I like to go tainted Totem on her because essentially um, this is the passive that gives you increased shielding. So it works great for buffing the shields a bit more. This is the anti-blight item. So as a support, it's very solid and almost very needed to go blight earlier in the build. It's because what your teammates not necessarily going to build blight. They might build blight as a force or fist item kind of thing so as a support um that you're not as prioritized on doing damage or tanky for your team you want to try and help your team in other ways like giving early anti-blight that can really indirectly help in your those team fights especially against the sustained heals like rampage counters chimera and the other likes and so this is the one that has physical magical armor so it makes me a bit balanced in terms of durability what I like to go after that is depending on it depends on who I'm worried about. If, if it's physical damage I'm worried about, then I will go to one or two items. I would go hexbound brace because you're getting the ability haste while above maximum mana. You gain a fast shield, a fast amount of physical armor and a lot of mana. And so this is an item that's gonna really help keep Mario mana pool a lot more healthier because you're gonna keep spamming abilities left and right so you can actually shoot through your mana pretty quickly so that's why I kind of like going to expound bracers on her. Storm Ball is also really good there's a lot of assassins and they're kind of focusing you you can use that to kind of get stunned on them so it makes it easier for you for you to escape or your team to follow up. So if it's not physical armor um physical base heals you worry about then you want then for magical defense items I recommend Vanguardian. So essentially, Fengar is a very solid support item because you get health, magical armor, tenacity, and the fact that nearby allies gain 10 physical armor, 10 magical armor. So it's the item that makes you durable, but also help your team as well. If you play around them, they're a bit more dur durable. And uh, trying to think if there's one other magical defense item I can recommend. It's honestly like this one is much, much better and much more suited to support. All these other ones are kind of more selfish. 
for the most part. Maybe Tainted Bastion, but you're going Tainted Tone, so that's just really not needed. So, maybe Flux Matrix. Oh, Galaxy Grease, I think it's actually going to be solid. This is a physical and magical art item, but essentially, this kind of makes you a bit better, I guess, moving around the map. And this, I think it's... Uh, uh, the fact that you can like jump in there, so like you're not really like a virtual of deck that can set up like kills with, with stuns or whatnot. But what you can do is if someone is focusing on you, you can literally just jump in the air. You kind of in the air, and then the enemies that's kind of was on you now they can't attack you for as long as you're up in the air. And plus, you can make some really interesting escape routes too and bait them out with galaxy grease. So that's just kind of a thought. But I think the cold build is Requiem, um, Marshall. Take them to them, and then depending on which damage stop I'm worried about, I go Fan Cardian or Diamond uh, Hexbound Bracers and just build the other one afterwards. So, this is a very, very balanced build where you're gonna build plenty of health, plenty of magical and physical armor while building items that can help buff your shields and help buff your allies. So, that's kind of like how I would like the best build Shim um, Mario, but I'm not a Mario connoisseur. At the end of the day, so this is just my kind of that's just this is my opinion. But you guys can definitely know, let me know down in the comments how you enjoy that. Um, what you guys think of the build and what build you guys like to go on Mary? Because maybe in the next Mary video, I can try to pick up one of you guys' builds and try to like try to do a, a bit more of a refined build, I guess, is what I can do. So, anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments what other heroes, what other builds you want me to showcase. Thank you guys so much for the awesome support, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.